Hi, this is Derek. Welcome back to 31 Days of Oscar. This month I am talking about movies that have either won or were nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture. And today's review is a movie called Norma Ray. And this is a movie that I've been wanting to see for a long time. I'd always heard about it, uh, but never really got around to watching it. So this month actually was the first time I... I uh, got a chance to see it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a 1979 nominee for Best Picture. Didn't win. It was up against some pretty pretty big heavyweights that year. We had uh, uh, Kramer versus Kramer, which won. We had Apocalypse Now, all that jazz. So qu quite a big competition. But, of course, it won for Sally Field as Best Actress in her, her kind of uh, iconic role at this point. Like, everyone... The thing is, everyone knows what this movie is about, even if they haven't really seen it. Like, I always had this idea in my mind of what the movie actually was. Like, of course, there's the infamous scene where she's, you know, she's in the factory. She's holding up that uh, union sign. Everyone kind of knows that scene, even if they don't know the movie. So that kind of, that always kind of intrigued me. Like, I'm wondering what this movie's about. This lady, you know, holding up the sign, you know, union kind of 70s kind of stuff. So I was very curious to see what it was all about. So I finally got a chance to see it, and I really liked the movie. Uh, definitely kind of like union uh goings-ons are different today than, than they would be back then. Uh, and right away, you kind of see the stigma around unions. Like, basically, the way it gets started, we see Norma Ray in her kind of normal life. She's working at the the factory. It's it's like, basically, the the whole town is revolving around this, this factory where her, her mother works there, her father works there, uh, her soon-to-be husband works there. Uh, so it's all kind of, like, revolving around... The, the whole town revolves around this, this mill. Um, so pretty much, if it's a one-horse town, they don't really have any choice to make a living except to work there so it's kind of like they're getting stuck on that but uh, as, as fate would have it uh, a union representative uh, uh, Reuben played by Ron Liebman he's coming to town and he's starting to shake things up a little bit and spread the word about unions and, and there is the stigma to it where it's like almost like that's fucking commie talk man they'll, they'll shut down the fucking factory we'll all be out of work and we'll all be poor and die or whatever uh so here it's like really just about like basic rights as workers you know to to have you know certain breaks and to have uh your your health and safety uh be aware of, you know, <laughs> what keeps you safe as, as a worker, things like that. So really basic kind of rights um, that pretty much, like, I would say, like, a, a worker today at, like, McDonald's has more rights than, like, someone in, in a factory back in the 70s, probably. So, I mean, there's that to consider. Um, not that I, I'll tell you, I'm not, like, an expert on, on union goings-ons, and this movie is not a lecture on that. What it really is about, it is kind of this story where we have a main character, in this case it is Norma Ray, who's kind of a character where, you know... Why me? What what makes me so special? Why should I kind of stand up when I have everything to lose? I, I'm not that special. I'm not that articulate. I, I'm not a great leader or anything like that. Uh, but then comes to be exactly that because they kind of took that leap of faith and because they kind of found those qualities within themselves. So it's it's a great transition to see uh, Norma Ray uh, played in in a wonderful and, and brilliant performance by Sally Field, who very much is, was deserving of, of that Oscar, where, you know, she is kind of seen as this like kind of low grade kind of person where, you know, she's. Uh, been from man to man, she has kids from different men, and she drinks, and she is poor, you know, things like that. So, not really seen as someone of value. Uh, so we see her kind of almost believing in, in that to a certain extent. And then as as this stranger, this, this Jewish fella uh, who, who comes into town, uh, kind of sees that there are qualities within her, and, and they, they help each other, basically, in, in getting the union started. And it's all about that kind of battle, and it's all about her kind of finally uh, finding that uh, uh, strength within herself. So it's a great story. Like the, Of course, you know, as any movie, they have uh, characters who will evolve and, and change throughout the whole thing. So the Norma Ray, Ray we see at the beginning, and the Norma Ray we see at the ending, while still has like the, the great and warm qualities uh, that kind of made her in, into such a leader. We see her as a different person. We see her as a leader. We see her as someone who's who's quite special. And we've gone on that journey with these characters. And it's it's quite a fulfilling one, I think. Um, supporting cast in this movie is really great. I think uh, Ron Liebman 
playing Ruben. I I have no idea why he didn't win, or at least, well, I'd say if, if he was nominated for like a Best Supporting Actor Oscar, uh, he was great in the movie, especially that scene where he's in the factory and he's checking, he has like his, you know, checklist of, you know, what uh, the union visit kind of entails and he's kind of pushing them around a little bit. That's a great scene. Uh, Bo Bridge is really great. Um, really funny in, uh, his kind of earlier scenes, but then we kind of see him uh, also make some changes into, you know, I, I think I'm losing my wife here. Um, he, he gets married to Norma Ray, of course. So when she's off doing her union stuff, he's understandably getting, you know, kind of miffed about and kind of feeling left behind and things like that. Uh, we also have playing Norma Ray's father, Pat Hingle, uh, who, if you don't know him from anything else, you know him as Commissioner Gordon from the Batman movies, uh, from well, Tim Burton's Batman movies. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so I think it's a really good movie, and I'm glad to finally have uh, given it a shot. Uh, again, Sally Field, uh, she's great in this movie, and I never really thought much about Sally Field. Like, you know, this is... Uh, older movie i wasn't too familiar with like other than you know like she's the mom in mrs doubtfire and she's like she's uh aunt may in, in those new spider-man movies um but here seeing her kind of like in at, at like the height I, I guess like post flying nun pre mrs doubtfire kind of whatever uh but she's really great and uh she it's it's quite easy to fall in love with her in this movie i know i did so i really enjoyed the movie and i'm glad to finally watch it and uh, have the dvd in my collection here so if you haven't seen norma ray definitely uh, check it out especially if you kind of want to see i'd say you know the the best performance from sally field i think i think that's fair to say um and if you if you want to you know learn more about unions or whatever those again it's not a preachy movie well i mean it sort of is a preachy movie but it's, it doesn't feel like a you know business ethics lesson or anything like that again i'm not an expert on on unions but uh i, I would hope that i and anyone else at least know a lot about or, or know what kind of constitutes basic human rights um so there's there's that too and that's what this movie uh really kind of brings home in a lot of ways and plus we see a transformation from a character who didn't feel they had worth but then discovering that worth and becoming a great leader great figure so i finally saw that movie about sally field holding up that union sign and i'm glad to have done it so i hope you do the same if you haven't already and if, if you haven't seen it in a while check it out again it definitely i would imagine uh, that it holds up quite well uh so that's my review thank you very much for watching plenty more 31 days of oscar ahead uh, be sure to comment rate subscribe all the good stuff in the meantime and until then i'll see you later